Okay, ladies, are you girls ready for a new Senegal twist wig? This one is by Sensational Empress, and this is the Rumba Twist Lace Wig. And as you see here, she is styled so pretty, and she is a little bit heavy when you get her out the bag. You see how full she is stuck in that bag. But yes, I went ahead and unbraided the front of my hair prior to this video, as well as that, as I've also unbraided the first front row excuse me the first front row of the wig as well because i'm going to make this wig look like it is braided into my hair so it does come with combs as well as an adjustable strap um i would suggest using some bobby pins because like i said sometimes the combs are not situated correctly these actually are but i just like a little extra security especially when the wig is kind of heavy like this and you want to put it up in like a bun or what have you so I would suggest just putting some bobby pins so I went ahead like I said and unbraided the front of the wig and as you see it's more or less like some kind of like twist coils what have you it looks really cute unbraided or untwisted like this but just to make it look natural that's one of my suggestions I did do a wig um, for sister wigs prior uh, a months back that looked just similar to this and I did the same thing because I didn't want that wiggish look I wanted to look like I sat in a chair and got my hair braided so yes as you see I'm gonna just take sections and I'm gonna take sections of my hair and I'm just going to basically interlock it into the braids now when you're braiding it you want to kind of like twist and wrap the braid around you can't just wrap the braid around like you were doing regular twists in the little girls hair you need to twist the hair as you're you're basically wrapping around this makes the braid tight and it also makes the braid remain a twist braid if you just twist it around without twisting the actual fibers then it's just going to get really loose and it's not going to stay so that is what I'm doing right here and once again I'm just going to do the same thing I'm just going to take sections of my hair and I'm just going to interlock it into the actual braid portion of the wig the hair was really easy to untwist it's really soft the fibers are super duper soft with this um, if you want to remove all the fibers or move remove all the twists then it probably will look super cute so I guess once after you're done wearing it as twists and you're tired of wearing it as twists you can actually untwist them all and they would really look probably really cute because you have like this really natural coil look the hair is not silky texture it's more or less like you know um, a yakky texture so the braids do look just really natural and it does look like you went and sat in a chair for a while and that's the look that I was going for I wish that I could sit in a chair for a while but you know I have so many videos to do but either way here no there sister wigs does carry this wig they got a lot of these Senegal twist wigs on their website and they're so affordable so if you always want to change up your look then I would highly suggest taking a look at their website for these um, they have box braid ones as well and I also did one that was kind of like a micro braid one um, for sister wigs a few months back as well so I will post that below but yeah super easy I would just basically say to camouflage any little short hairs because that was an issue with this wig for me there was some choppy hairs and it kind of looked like they wanted to cut some of the braids off but she's really cute as you can see now as you see the front of my hairline it looks like it's natural it looks like it actually was braided in and that is the one thing that I like about just unraveling the front portion of the wig because you don't want to look like you are wearing a wig by all means you don't so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take this and I'm gonna use one of my elastic bands and I'm just going to give myself a high ponytail and of course with a high ponytail comes a bun. I'm going to make myself a bun. So as you see right here, this is the short hairs that I was talking about. If it seems like they just said, well, you know what? I don't want any braids. We're going to cut the braids off. And that's exactly what it looks like. So to camouflage that, that is the reason why I'm going to do the bun. You won't see that if you have the hair entirely down. But being that I wanted just to do a little bit of different styles, I decided to do a high bun first. And the first things first, I'm going to make sure to camouflage that hair. Now, opposed to that, I'm also going to do another style in this tutorial as well. So just be prepared there is going to be one more style after this high bun here so I'm going to take a rubber band to secure the end so that doesn't unravel and I'm also going to put a rubber band in the middle because of course there's a lot of hair and the twist may not hold so I'm going to take a rubber band and put that in the middle and I'm just going to twist that around and you see how it's already camouflaging that missing portion of the hair right here
and another rubber band as well and you're also going to need some hair pins for this just to make sure that the bun is secure now of course it will stay somewhat like this but I want to make sure that the bun does not fall so I'm going to use some hair pins just to secure that bun down with Okay, girls, so here it goes. This is the Sensational Impress Expression Lace Wig in Senegal Rumba Twist Braid Wig. The color is a number two. So if you girls remember, I did do one similar to this one. It was a different brand, and it was also for sisterwigs.com. And I did show you how I make the wig look natural by unbraiding some of the braids in the front and twisting it in or braiding it in with my own hairline. So that way it looks like I went and sat for some hours and got my hair braided, which I really would not. Now, I will be honest with this one. I like the first one that I did a lot better because this one kind of seems a little bit choppy. Um, if you've seen, I did show you some short hairs, like right here, these short little hairs. Like, what is that all about? Um, looks like they decided they didn't want to include the braid and decided to cut it off. So that's what it looks like. It looks like the braid was removed. So with that, I would have to just go ahead and use one of my hairpins and tuck it behind the bun so that you wouldn't see it or just pull the bun down some so you wouldn't see it. So that's the one thing that bothered me about this wig is the fact that those tiny little those chopped off hairs like what happened to the braid right there so I just camouflage that with the bun if you're going to wear it up that's so this is what it looks like all through the back when you're doing this hair you need to tw twist it as it's in your hair twist it and wrap it twist the hair as you're you know doing the braid so that way it'll stay if you don't the braid is going to come right out but these braids I decided to do this one because these were a little bit bigger the last one I did was smaller um the the hair pattern is really cute though the hair is super soft um they did a really good job with the braiding of it I just wish that that choppiness maybe I got like a bad batch like a bad wig and they're not all like that they do have like the string connected to them um, connected to the braids which you can easily remove that just keeps the hair from just moving around and to keep it kind of like smashed down at the top so you can remove it if you want to um, but it is pretty long and it's really cute though I think like it's super cute okay ladies so now that you've seen this high bun look I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a totally different style this is the style that was featured on the package So with this particular one, instead of twisting it, I'm going to put it into a normal braid. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to secure the ends with a rubber band. The braided portion is a lot better than the twist because it will hold. So doing a braid is a lot easier. You can also do a braid for a bun. And I'm just going to kind of like slightly slant that on my head. And kind of like the same method. It's just going to be kind of slanted to the side. It really does give appeal to this wig. And I think it looks rather cute. And I'm going to use some hairpins as well to hold the style for this actual kind of like slanted bun. Okay, girls, so I did do this style right here, which is kind of like the one 
on the actual packaging and I like this one just as well as the high bun or medium bun this is kind of like a different kind of look it really looks totally different for me I don't really do my hair like this so I am liking this entire wig I just don't like the choppiness so Camouflaging it is one thing if you're going to wear it up. But yes, you can check out sisterwigs.com for this one here by Sensational Impress. It is very full and you will expect a little bit of weight, nothing too heavy where it's going to break your neck. But super cute. They did a good job. I'm just thinking like what happened to the other braids? Okay. Yeah. So on that note, let me know what you think of this unit right here. I will post all the information below. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you girls and guys on my next video.